Hello guys and welcome back. This is Jakey Fresh and welcome to the second part of this Cuphead Let's Play. So, without much more ado, let's head on to face Goopy Legrand in Ruse of an Ooze. I never had much problem facing this boss, or actually that's not true, I did have a good amount of problems facing the, this boss the first time, but now re revisiting it, it's not the most challenging boss, certainly in this game. Um, I already talked about this in my last episode. The, the first island is not the most challenging island in this game, but um, you know, certainly not any less creative. <laughs> Although this is just some silly slime ball. But, I mean, look at it. It's brimming with character. <laughs> There's a nice little waterfall in the background. And now he's a tombstone, which is a little bit morbid. But, what can he do? Not... I don't know. I don't know what to say right now. <laughs> Except, there we go. That's that's the end of that boss. The next boss we're going to face, I think we're going to be facing the Zeppelin boss. I think her name is Hildeberg. I, I remember having a good amount of trouble with that one. <laughs> it's late, Later on it gets a lot more challenging. Because uh, if you if you beat the game the first just once, uh, I, I I discovered that it unlocks a an expert mode for all the bosses. Yeah, unfortunately I have to do this little tutorial, but you know I don't have to stick around for it. I can just reach the exit. There we go. Because this next boss, the Hildeberg boss, is a uh, an airplane boss. Hildeberg in Threatening Zeppelin. I say, I'd say we're making some pretty good time right now. We are already on the next, the second boss of this episode. I'm hoping that we can uh, make our way to the next island in this episode. But I guess we'll just see what happens. As long as I don't get hurt like I just did. This part of the boss is a little bit tricky, just because it comes out at you pretty unexpectedly. That, in my opinion. Oh, yeah. Love this music. This is this is probably one of my favorite tunes in this in this game. If I had to have a pick a favorite tune, there's also in the second island. I, I was I was whistling uh, the tune in the shower just this morning. I didn't I didn't realize just how catchy I found it, but it turns out I <laughs> find it very catchy. And just like that, hopefully we can reach the end of this boss. It's not looking too hot on my end. Okay, we're nearly there. So we'll see a big old crescent moon form out of her. <laughs> Although I don't know why there are UFOs. I don't know if that's very 1930s-esque. Although I... They would know better than I would, I guess. Here we go. Let's finish this. Come on. Knock out, knock out. Knock out! Knock out! It's a knockout, guys. I was a little close too, that UFO looked like it, was, it almost got me. Let's just skip through this, I want to get to the next boss. What's my grade? B. For best ever. I love that little hourglass. Oh, and for any of you guys that might be interested in nabbing an achievement. Woo, look at that. 
You don't even need to do that Hildeberg boss to reach this part. Although there are lots of different branching pathways. Let's do this run and gun segment, because I think it's a good idea to get at least one more power up. This this weapon I think I mentioned in the last episode was the one that I had most or the, the one that I thought was most effective. But there's still one other power-up that I think is going to be very useful in the rest of this journey. It's going to allow me to be invincible as I dash. I forgot that there's a coin there. The other day I was trying to get a perfect run of this run and gun segment because I realized that uh, if you have like a perfect run on these levels you get a golden flag. Later on, when you unlock that expert mode, you'll be able to get, uh, if, if you beat the, the bosses in the expert mode, you'll get uh, golden flags for beating them, those bosses. So, oh, okay, well, that's not very good. This is one of, the, I think, I, I don't know, the, the, the running gun levels are always a little bit challenging, but in the expert mode, when I, which I was trying to beat the other day, I was having so much difficulty. Ah, uh, great. I need to get that coin. Ah, okay. Let's try once more. Oh, oh, good, I just nabbed it. Okay, that was good. Those are my professional skills at play for you guys to see. Thanks to that lovely dad. Okay, I that that's not. I've never seen that happen. <laughs> I didn't know they went that went down there that far. Okay, this doesn't look too good, guys. Okay, well, so much for that. It seems that this is going to be the length, the bulk of this let's play, which is not what I want. Let's, let's get through this. Got the coin. Oh, okay. Maybe it would have been a better idea to come in here with that spread shot weapon. But no matter. We'll finish this no matter what. This will be a game that I finish in the course of these episodes. Of that, I'm pretty sure. So, let's just make our way to the top of this tree stump. Okay. Over that. Excellent. Wait for that guy to come back. I'm gonna take things slow and steady because I don't really want to die. Again. Still got a schedule to keep, guys. Excellent. So now we just have this big old mosquito or something. I don't know what that is. Big insect. Okay. <sighs> it looks like you guys are going to be seeing this level pretty often. I'll try to make things a little bit fast. I'm not going to get angry, though. I'm just going to be get, uh, getting disappointed. Okay. Disappointed in my lack of ability. But you did just see my excellent skills at collecting that coin earlier. So, I mean, just keep that in mind the next time you see me failing. Doesn't... I, it doesn't happen all the time, but when it does... Just remember that. Ah, cool. Okay, great. <sighs> A sigh of frustration. I think that these, um, these insects are the most annoying. But, in any case, I'm close to the end of the level now. I should be able to reach the end of this. 
and then do, I think, maybe maybe just one more boss. Oh, okay, you know. Okay, that, whatever. We are going to finish this level. You have my word. By the end of this episode, this level shall be beaten. Great. Things will definitely be getting easier once I get that other power-up I talked about earlier. The thing that makes you invincible when dashing. Invisible and therefore invincible. I don't know if it works that way necessarily, but that's how it does in this game. And that's why we're going to get it. Okay, now we're cooking. Let's finish this level. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. On our way. I just need to beat this guy, and that'll be it. See, he psychs you out, he, or he uh, fakes you out with uh, the direction uh, in which he's shooting those fireballs. That's it. Boss is done. And so is this level. Bravo! So guys, I think that we have enough time to treat you to one more of these bosses. These very entertaining bosses. I forget, is there any more in this level? Guess we'll find out. I'll run to the shop, get that power up, and do one more boss. Fight one more boss. Engage one more boss. Maybe we'll do a wrong warp. No, no wrong warp today. Or right now. Smoke bomb. You will not take damage during a dash. A great de defense maneuver. And... Might as well just get this. There's no point in... I mean, I don't know. If you find use in these items, great. This is what worked for me. The boomerang... Shots and... The defensive parry maneuver. Ooh. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I think I'll do. That's that's what I'll do. I'll do this mausoleum to get my special. Yeah. You know. Whatever. We'll do one more boss after this. These these levels are not very hard at all. Just uh, parry parrying levels. I'm sure you guys have seen this in other Let's Plays. Certainly not the most challenging. <laughs> Can't shoot ghosts, you only have to parry them. I've never seen what happens if they actually reach the urn. Nope, just one more. Or this little guy with a cute little hat. <laughs> Not too shabby. Oh, what do you know? Give me your special! I, l I love the way th these characters look. I can't I can't think of what she looks like, but it's definitely the way it's supposed to look. <laughs> so, yeah, I got my super. Might as well equip that as they're forcing me to do. Consider it equipped, guys. Let's face the next boss. The next boss of this island. Which is... Ah, Cagney Carnation. 
in floral fury. I love this boss. I just love the way it starts. Look at it! So cute! Now it's not! No! Oh, so cute earlier! Still adorable, I think. Well, not there, but... I mean, look, look at those eyes. That sharp, pointy nose. I love it. So cute. I don't know if th those are... If that's the correct word to use, but... I, th I think it's adorable. Yeah. So, th that that's the pattern of this boss. Just... Oh, oh, here we go. Da, 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 da. Oh, you know what? I forgot to equip that other item. The one that's supposed to allow me invincibility in that dash. That's okay. It's not very necessary in this first part of the boss. In this boss. I mean, I'm not gonna say it's necessary in any of the bosses. But then again, it's really a useful item. But... As we see with this knockout, not very necessary. Not... Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> In any case, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Cuphead Let's Play. And the next time you come back, we'll get to meet... Well, actually, let's just meet him now. Let's make our way to this die. As soon as it allows me to move. Let's move to this red die and see the next island. The die house. I think I'll read this bit of dialogue. Plus, I love the music in this. Let's just take a moment to appreciate the music. I'm Mr. King Dice. I'm the gamest in the land. I never play nice. I'm the devil's right hand man. I can't let you pass, cause you ain't done everything. Bring me those contracts, come on, bring them to the king. I have collected those souls in this island, so we can just move on. Haven't worked assiduously. No, I cannot let you pass. Don't you Inkwell Isle 2. Don't mess. Don't mess with King Dives. Guys, hang on. Thank the stars I caught up with you. I believe I found a way out of this mess you're in. Hot dog, you have? I've actually never seen this cutscene before, unless I skipped it somehow. Your strength is growing. You'll soon be a match for that no-good King Dice, and maybe even the devil himself. Golly, do you really think? I do, but you'll never get close to the devil unless you already have those soul contracts in hand. Only then will you get a chance to turn the tables on that fiend. So when that time comes, do the right thing. Okay. I think I know what happened. I, I may have told you guys this already. I think I have. I there was a wrong warp I did somehow when I entered that shop. And at that point, I had transported... Or I'd gone to the die house and I had all those souls. So... I, or those soul contracts. And so I ended up in the second island. And that cutscene... Actually, I never went to the second island. I left the die house. I ended up at the shop. I got the item I wanted. And then I went to the die house and went to the second island. And that cutscene never played. It was the weirdest thing I'd ever seen. But, um... Anyway, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And soon you'll get to enjoy some more of this very catchy music. I was whistling to this in the shower. Love it. So, anyway... Hope you had a good time. Hope you continue to have a good time. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.